Are you ready for the most dangerous beach on this earth? I, I think probably had not. Nightmares since we're in Australia, so. so uh, yeah. We are going to travel with the van today. First, we have to pick up all the other guests. Grab you, give you a death roll, and then once you're dead, it's going to score your body up against the mangroves. <laughs> Water is a fast way to get your body to, I guess, deteriorate. So as your body starts to rot away, the crocodile is going to come back in, let's say, a couple of days, a week at the most, before it starts picking you off bit by bit. Uh, and then that is it. You eventually, you know, completely disappear. If one of these guys attack you, you've only got a 1% chance of survival, right? So in a while, to crocodile, you're gone. Nine times out of 10, the reason why a crocodile attacks someone is because they've been swimming in a body of water that they should not be in. Now, I do know we've got a few, but any hands up if you guys are German. We've got many Germans on board today. Woo. Oh my goodness me, holy shit. <laughs> uh, Germans are the ones that actually uh, have got, what, 51% chance uh, of being attacked. Thank you very much. And this is because they can't pass up on a good German sausage. So, <laughs> on your wildlife cruise today, guys, you just throw them overboard. There's quite a few of you. I've never seen so many in one place. It's great. Um, Our first stop will be the Mosam George. Here's a good egg, good egg. It's time for a traditional Aboriginal smoke ceremony. To be around 180 million years old. Yeah? A little bit older than the Amazon, which is uh, roughly around 90 to around 100 million years old. Yeah? The river mm -hmm. beds. Uh, so, yeah, see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> After the ceremony, we have to take a little bus. Now we are heading up to the George for a swim in the crystal clear water. On the way, we also spotted a lot of wildlife. There is also a shaking bridge which is very funny to go over. We also found some very strange plants. We also spotted an Australian bush turkey. They are here everywhere. Nearly everywhere is a danger sign here in Australia, but the people are still going to swim, so we decided also to take a dip into the green fresh water. We got the chance to see all the animals here. What don't we do? Our next stop is the Daintree River Cruise. We are so excited for this boat trip because here you can also find crocodiles, wild crocodiles, which is incredible. Also the landscapes here are so gorgeous, we're just feeling like in the Amazonas. We were searching and searching for crocodiles and then suddenly we just spotted one. What a feeling to be on a boat and see a wild living crocodile. On this day we were very lucky because other boat doesn't get the chance to see any crocodiles. We are on the way back now to the pier and look at these signs. Don't swim here guys. Now we are hungry and it's time to get a delicious lunch buffet. The lunch was very fresh and tasty so we really enjoyed it. Here it is, Cape Tribulation. It looks like paradise, right? Jungle, just beside a beautiful ocean. It's not. Sharks. Spiders. Snakes. <laughs> crocodiles. Salt water crocodiles. <laughs> and also the most deadly bird 
in the world, the cassowary. They and all live a lot here. Of, <laughs> and trees that are venomous, fruits that are venomous. So welcome to Cave Tribulation, the most dangerous beach or area jungle in the world. So this place is so unique. We're gonna explore this amazing place. We're looking forward and hope we will stay alive on the most dangerous place on earth. Hope to talk to you later, guys. <laughs> Before we're going to explore the area, we found some ants. And guess what? This ants called lime ants and you can eat them. We didn't eat one, but the other told us it was very tasty. The Daintree Forest is the oldest rainforest in the world. Older than the Amazonas, but not bigger. I don't know about the one underneath, but the top one is what is known as a strangular fig tree. Now, if you've done the waterfall tour, you're probably already familiar with this, but it starts off as a bit of a seed, right? Possum, bird, tree, kangaroo, we do get them. Uh, would have eaten a fruit, dropped the seed up there. It starts to grow in both directions. One of the only trees, if not the only tree that will do that. It will grow upwards, taking the sun, grow downwards, taking the nutrients out of the ground. As it grows, it's gonna wrap itself around this host tree, eventually strangling it. It will take years before this host tree dies, and then it's gonna rot away, leaving a nice hollow center in the middle. Now, even though this host tree dies, it is not considered a parasite. For it to be a parasite, it needs to be taking that nutrients from the host tree itself. It just uses that host tree for support. I think it might be male, but we'll try and make it move. It's very even. Oh. Oh. So that's a male. Oh, wow. oh yeah, see it, you see it. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. Very green. This is the Marjal Botanical Walk. We learned so much about wildlife in this forest and we are excited to see how the beach looks like. So we finally made it ah, to crocodiles. Cape Tribulation. Warning signs again. Don't go swimming, be aware of crocodiles and stingers, but enjoy the amazing view. We made it to the most dangerous beach on earth. So they are both World Heritage listed destinations. Here we just have the Great Barrier Reef that is just yeah, nearly on the beach. And on the other side you have the Daintree Forest, the oldest rainforest in the world. That's amazing, this place is stunning, but it's so dangerous because if you go to swim, you'll probably get uh, yeah. stung by like a stinger or eaten by a saltwater crocodile or whatever. So yeah. the scary thing is that th this beach doesn't look dangerous at all. It looks amazing it also looks to take like a paradise, dip, but, but we would not do it. <laughs> Highly don't recommend. Also, the currents are very strong, so they can also kill you. Yeah. Uh, so basically, everything here can kill you. So. So if you visit this place, the best would be with a group trip. Um, yeah. Don't go far away. Just chill at this beach. <laughs> so why is there a warning in German? Because most of the times. Germans get eaten by saltwater crocodiles. <laughs> but look at this beautiful beach. <laughs> She's 84 years old. She's still selling homemade ice creams. Last up, welcome to the Mount Alexandra lookout point. To go back, we need to take the car ferry to go over the Daintree River. There is no bridge available, so you can only access the other side with a boat. A quick stop by Port Douglas. A very laid back and relaxing place. Highly recommend to stay here if you have enough time. After a long day, it's time to go back. It was an incredible day.